I'm here in Philippines to experience sustainable agriculture with my friends. Jay, I'm studying in University of Manchester in England. My two Korean friends and I have been interested in environment because um, I feel like I have to protect the environment. <laughs> so after we found um, VAP, the organization, we just um, uh, found a specific project which is sustainable agriculture because um, uh, it was about like environment and also we can do voluntary things. Today because uh, agricultural soils all over the world is uh, depleted uh, with the topsoils uh, we need also to uh, give some food supplement <laughs> in our plant. Uh, the project was arranged by um, YSDA, uh, which is the Philippine Organizations. Uh, YSDA is actually a platform for young people to actually practice sustainable development in such a way that we provide them eco-leadership training. We also provide them um, opportunity to work together with young people and realize among themselves that they have a bigger role in actually attaining sustainable development. And at the same time, uh, through direct action and direct community involvement, that actually make uh, sustainable development happen. Part of the strategy is to actually involve the community. That's the main component. Involving young people from the community, at the same time creating intercultural exchange. I was prepared. I was in different com developing country. I was in Nicaragua and I thought that it will be really similar but here people are totally different they are laughing they are really optimistic person people and they really wanted to enjoy their life to spend how much as much time as they can with foreign people they wanted to help us I think it's because all of the Filipino people their mentality are completely different than the Polish people Mm, in, in our country, in Poland, they are, they are mm, complaining all the time and they are mm, not the Mr. Bright side. And people here are very open minded, very positive, smiling all the time and just saying hi to the strange, strange person. And I think now, now I, I'm more positive. At first, it I think it would be very, very difficult to adjust the culture in the Philippines because it's a whole different from my country in South Korea. But it was not that difficult because YSDA helped 
me very much. Oh. They made made us to be close to be close with local families and farmers. Uh, they just don't mind whether the house is not the huge and luxurious. Just I like the way they are living. It's like eating dinners all together and ha 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 ho, laughing together and playing games and playing the guitars all together. It was really so sweet and I'm gonna miss my Filipino family. How about you? I don't know if they are also Filipino. Parang mga Boy Scout and Girl Scout na handang sumong kahit sa ano, handang kumaan ng kahit ano. Hindi walang keme, sipag, madaling matuto, nakakatuwang karanasan. <laughs> the series of activities includes coastal restoration, uh, habitat restoration, such as this. You know, they actually, these corals were actually destroyed by the typhoon. And in order for us to ensure that they can relive and they can survive, is to bring them back in the, under the water. And we work closely with uh, local communities and young people. At the same time, we also work with different nationalities and international volunteers such as Poland. Uh, we also work with Japanese, Koreans, and all other volunteers from all over the world. Actually, monthly by the barangay pero at this year busy ang barangay mo nang wala na mo makuha ng pagbalik ani dito sa dagat so ang uban na ni namatay na gyud ni siya pero may possibility pa ni siya nga mabuhi ini yung ibalik dito sa permanente sa tubig because this is something that we will be painting and we will put something like uh, a drawing of four bottles drawing whatever may an happen he uh, wants to uh, create uh, trash bins for your community. Uh, for, for glass, for paper, uh, for uh, another things, for plastic. Uh, maybe and some, uh, some uh, container which you don't use, like, like broken or... Do you have some extra, like you, you don't use? A container. Salamat. The water is there? It's good, very good. Salamat. 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 Come, Salamat. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Eight. So we need three more. Yeah. Six. We need three extra. This was from the. Parang mga ihimplo sila yung mga bulunteos. Sila ang mga gabay. Sila ang mga parang sila ang parang ko ano sila na. Dapat na maraming taga rito ay matuto rin maglinis ng bakuran at saka paligiran. Kasi sa panahon ngayon, pag hindi natin uh, alagaan yung kalikupan natin, ay talagang iba ng mangyayari. Twice Day provides a diversity of volunteer experience and volunteer activities. And if uh, we always invite motivated volunteers, local and abroad, to actually work with us in addressing the problem and addressing the issue of sustainable development. There are about a few rules to follow at the beginning. Of course, you can take the pictures, but without the flash, okay? And of course, we are trying not to disturb the cars here, so whenever we are getting closer, just try to be quiet. And of course, no touching them or not shaking the bush, okay? okay. Before I arrived to the Philippines, of course, I had a great interest in, in, in the Tarsiers because I graduated biology and geography. So 
I have a great interest in biology, nature and wildlife. Every early morning uh, our uh, Filipino spotters, uh, they go to the uh, sanctuary mm -hmm. and they're looking for the tarsiers. So uh, usually we just follow them afterwards and then of course we try to remember where the tarsier is staying, on which branch and which tree and uh, more or less they are staying there for the whole day uh, because they are nocturnal so they are acting mostly during the night time but of course whenever they feel like uncomfortable in a, in a position they tend to change the place uh, if it's too hot or rainy so they, they can get stressed very easily and they can even suicide themselves. When they are under the big stress, they can just stop breathing. And the Philippine Darshir Foundation is very, very thankful that we have volunteers from YSJ, from EVS, and so many reasons. Because number one, um, they're doing a guiding and then they meet with a lot of people and then um, sinasabi nila kung paano ang conservation of Philippine Darshir. And it's really, really good. Because the foundation, we po kami ng manpower. And then, nandiyan sila, so malaki yung malaking tulong po talaga. Second is, because of them, they're from European Union, mga foreigners sila. So, nagiging well-known yung Philippine Tarsier Foundation, not just in the Philippines, but maski sa ibang bansa. So, nakakatulong talaga ng marketing ng Philippine Tarsier Foundation. Right, usually, they are surprised, of course, like, why it's foreigners are working here. Like, Filipino should be a tour guide, yes. But they are very nice. But the strange thing is that they always like, sometimes they are more interested in us than in Tarsiers. So for example, when we are inside, they keep asking us a lot of questions about us, why are we here, how do we like Philippines? And also like always, they want to make photos with us. mga local tourists, na intriga po talaga sa kanila, and then they have this cultural exchange experience, not just with them, and not just the volunteers are experiencing the Philippines, but we also experiencing Europe because of them. But it was really great to see them in their natural environment, mm -hmm. and that the, yeah, the tour guides were really knowledgeable, answered, answered all of our questions. Yeah, we had a lot of questions and we were able to answer yeah. everything. It's nice to see them um, happy, with, well, the tour guides and the charities, uh, in their natural environment. With international volunteers and local volunteers, we always expect for their openness to learn new things, learning each other's culture, rather than competition, create cooperation, rather than argument, dialogue. And that is the main purpose of sustainable development. And we provide that platform for young people. Welcome. You're welcome. Always. I'm Filipino. Yeah. Filipino is very hospitality. Wow. You know, you know that uh, <laughs> Polish people are. It's it's uh, very similar uh, to Polish people because uh, in Poland we are very hospitable also. We need to, to sustain the activities. That's why we work closely with the community, so that when they go to the to the place where they are doing the voluntary activities, it is not just a one shot activity. They do it there with the community and we sustain it together with the local community again and again and again because this is how difficult it is to maintain the environment and at the same time YSDA through its long experience knows what the needs of volunteers at the same time what the needs of the community and if we combine it together and we work together hand in hand on this we can actually make a big difference